and today we're going to talk about how I love to use the Mink Mini in with my planner stuff. So you know me, I'm kind of a planner nerd. And what I have done currently is I have taken out a bunch of the pages from my planner. So I'm just operating kind of with the next three or four months. And what I love to do, and you've probably seen me on my video, is I love to incorporate my supplies right into my planner so that I have it all ready to use. Because I love to, you know, I'm adding little flaps, I'm adding stickers on my main pages. I like to stick stuff in there all the time. I love to add photos with flaps and just act little extras. So what I want to do is, you know, the mink supplies, there are tons of them that are really small, like the ephemera. I have some here, some of the labels, the ephemera, even the little three by three cards that are specially and perfectly designed to go right into your planner. So what I wanted to do was just talk about my tips for foiling little pieces and then I'm actually going to use the fuse and show you how I have created these customized storage solutions right out of little mini page protectors that make it really easy to take the supplies on the go. So when you get the Mink Mini, it comes with a 6x6 six six transfer folder. And so what I have done is actually cut a piece of just thin paper that I stuck in here because sometimes when you're taking all the small pieces and you put them right into the transfer folder, they want to slide around and that causes some problems. So if it moves around and it touches like one toner piece touches onto another piece, it will actually fuse together and then it can no longer be used. So what I'm going to do is just kind of fill up this area and now the mini mink foils are six inches wide by five feet and what that equates to is exactly half the length of the regular mink foils and half the width. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here right on top, make sure that everything's tucked in and I'm going to close down the transfer folder making sure that everything is nice and smooth. Now, I've already got my Mink Mini heated up, and at this point you just really want to make sure that you hold the transfer folder nice and even so that none of those little pieces have a chance to move around. Then I'm just going to use the tip of my fingers to hold it as it goes all the way through the machine. Now this takes just a couple of minutes because it needs to heat for a certain amount of time with a certain amount of pressure and a certain amount of heat for the foils, which are toner reactive foils, to fuse to these pieces that are actually have actually been printed with a toner ink. Okay, even though it takes a couple extra minutes to kind of hold it as it goes all the way through the machine, it is worth it when your stuff doesn't move around inside. All right, so I'm going to peel it all back. And you can see that I have these beautifully foiled little pieces that I can now use on my planner. All right. Now I will tell you, notice here on, and I'm going to pull it out and show you. Notice how there's quite a, a few places on this foil sheet here and here where I haven't used the foil as a transfer. So some of these pieces are so small you could put them back in and really utilize the rest of these foil sheets. So you can run it through again, which makes it very economical as you're using those foils. Okay, now that I have all these little bits and pieces, one of the, tr the struggles that we have is that, you know, how do I keep it all together? So I want to show you a couple of solutions that I have created, and then I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So these little um, memory planner photo sleeves and also the Wanderlust photo sleeves. They come in some different sizes. The ones for Wanderlust are actually designed for the journals. So they're a larger 4 by 6 piece. Um, these, the, both of the, them have the 3 by 3 sections and the memory planner ones have the little 2 by 2 sections. So those can be really great just for tucking your little pieces in. Now I want to talk to you, if you do have the fuse or access to the fuse, 
then what's really cool about this tool by We Are Memory Keepers is that you can make your own compartments the size exactly what you need. So let me show you this one. This one, I took the 4x6 photos pocket, and it used to be open at the top. What I did was cut off the sides, and I put a fuse seam in the middle and also at the top. So now these pieces can be accessed from the side, and it makes it really great. You know, now when I'm ready to use it, I can pull it right out and staple it or attach it right to my uh, planner page. So I love this one, especially for the planner. It says fun stuff, and then you can just fill in um, what you did that day that was, that was fun. It's always good to remember <laughs> the fun parts, right? So now, once I have this ready, I can just pop it right into my planner, and it's going to be ready for, for me when I sit down at the end of the day and, and um, fill stuff in. Here's another one, and what I did, these are the mink labels, and it comes in a sticker sheet that looks like this. I already added foil to these, and you can see that I cut them down. I obviously, I didn't want to remove the sticky part of it, but I took the same 4x6 sleeve, and I added a few section here with a slit. So the bottom here is where I have some of my chipboard pieces, and this top piece is a great place for my labels. Now, um, I made it a little bit short so it was easy for me to pull them out, but they still stay in pretty good, and those can just go right into my planner. Now, on this one, I just want to show you how I have made three different sections. So the bottom section I thought would be great for my 3x3. Three three. I've already added foil to these, so they're ready to get used in my planner. So I can stick them in there, but I wanted to show you how I did a small little skinny one for the labels. This is a whole nother set of pieces that um, are really small, so I made a small little pocket for them, and then another little place for the chipboard pieces. All right, now, I wanted to show you this. This is kind of a perfect way for me to show you how I did this. I'm going to pull my pieces out. Now, these little 3x3 three three pieces it was no problem to have them stick out, but it kind of had some, some give here. And so what I want to show you is that all I'm going to do is use my sleeve, and with the cards in place, I'm going to kind of use them as a guide. And I'm just going to run the tool right down the side. That way, look at that, it just secures that pocket so these aren't going to these aren't going to go anywhere, and it's going to make it really easy access for me to have them as storage, but also keep them nice and handy. All right, then I can pop my labels in, whatever else I want to keep in this top section, and I can then flip to July, and this is a great set of supplies for me to use in the future. All right, so let me just show you exactly how this happens. Now I like to cut, um, this, is a, this is smaller than a 4x6 piece of chipboard, but as I stick this right into my page protector, this is going to make it really easy for me to cut a slit. So I've got an X-Acto knife and just um, a ruler here, and if I just want to take, take a look at what supplies I want to kind of keep handy. I'm actually going to turn off the mink while I'm not using it. Um, okay. So I kind of have a few things that are pretty much that size. And so I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm just going to make a nice straight cut across this page protector. Now, the reason why I've put this piece of chipboard in there is so that I don't cut through both levels, both layers of the page protector. But now, in order for me to fuse it, the fuse is actually going to melt the two pieces of page protector together. So I need to remove everything from there, and I want to make basically a pocket. So the pocket, if you'll imagine with me, is going to start from this slit down, and I'm going to be able to create another pocket from this slit up. So 
the fuse that I want to make is, is on top of the slit. So I'm going to go ahead and position my ruler right above that. Now the fuse comes with a nice metal ruler that you can use with it. And I'm just going to roll the fuse right along the edge. And it's kind of a combination, and you'll, you'll feel it, of pressure and slowness. You kind of get the feel for it once you um, kind of play with it for a second. All right, so now you can see that I've created one section up above, and this has allowed me to have one section down below where I can stick some of these pieces that are kind of this two-inch size. All right, now depending on what I have, and here I have some labels and some other things, I can make a little divider as well that, will access that can be accessed from the top. So I'm just going to move that around. Again, I like to use the ruler because it keeps it nice and straight, but you can very easily um, kind of freehand it as well. All right, so there we go. You kind of smell a little bit of the melting plastic, so don't be alarmed. And also, because this tool doesn't look like something that your kids have seen before, um, I've had two of mine touch it not even knowing that it was going to be hot at all. So one of the things that I had to do was kind of bring all the kids in <laughs> and, and just show them, hey, this is a hot tool and, um, and don't touch it. All right, so now I've got a, the perfect place for some of the things that are a little bit longer. And then watch. So I have this little grouping of items that are kind of small. So you know what I'm going to do is, oh, and I can't, I can't do it anymore because now my piece is small. And you know what I can do is, all right, we'll just cut it. So this is how I go about cutting my pieces of chipboard. I um, and actually, I'm cutting on what is not a cutting mat. <laughs> so I'm not going to, I'm going to be careful not to go all the way through. This really clever little fuse mat is not a cutting mat, but it's a great little silicone, and so it won't melt. All right, I'm going to pop this in. Again, I'm going to make myself a small little compartment. Then I'm going to go ahead and fuse the bottom of it. And actually, I can even use the straight edge of the chipboard to make a pocket, just like that. So just by way of warning, I'm showing you very two very addictive little tools. The mink is so fun. Once you start using it, it's like you want to just mink everything. Same thing with the fuse. It's so convenient, and it makes everything so easy to use, especially to get these little personalized, customized pockets. I can tuck in all these things that fit right there. And I have just a very personalized and customized storage folder that I can pop right in to my planner. So I wanted to show this very custom fit page protector that I did. These are some of these chipboard pieces that are just kind of this long, skinny. And so I went in and literally made a slit across and then just added little fused sections so that it would hold my chipboard pieces just right until I was ready to add them in. And then I have a smaller section that fit those ephemera pieces perfectly. And then the top of this is just right for the 3x3 three three cards. So I actually altered the 3x3 three three, uh, pocket page for that one. And then I just have one more to show you. And that is, oh, I closed it. On the sticker sheet, because I didn't want to, I wanted to have all the stickers, but then I didn't want to remove the backing from them, I actually cut the sticker sheet apart and then just stuck them individually in these little side pockets that just made it really easy for me to stick it all in there and put that in my planner. Really easy access to when I'm ready to use it. I really love to go throughout my day or maybe even two days and then sit down and add my little fun little bits and pieces and my memories so that I don't go too far and forget. So I hope that this personalized storage system 
for taking your mink supplies on board will be helpful and that you'll it'll make it easier for you to make pretty stuff. Thank you.